This is Jake Jacobs from Common Ground in Minnesota and this is an informative video for those of you who want the benefits of running this studio live with the iPad control at gigs in a very confined unit uh, only going through this. No extra extra computer or laptop or router or anything is needed. Uh, it's all contained in this Gator Tilt Rack. We've got the Presona side rails uh, for uh, for mounting mounts in there very nicely you can see down here there's a clear there's a clear space even in enough for the headphone jack and up on top I just have a plate but uh, pushing everything down as low as it can will also enable you to have all the plugs back here that you need so when you collapse the top when you collapse the top it doesn't pinch wires now what we're gonna do first is we're going to hook this Mac Mini up right in here and again all I'm going to be using is the power and a fire wire okay as you can see I've got the Mac Mini in here and the Mac Mini is pre-configured I have an Apple script running on it right now that defaults it on startup to an ad hoc network which you're gonna need you're gonna need it to be an ad hoc network if you want to run it without an external router uh, it's great for security great for just one less thing breaking down so I've got this all connected now and fired it up now I'm going over here to the iPad now that you can see that we're connected to the Mac Mini, um, to the ad hoc network in the Mac Mini, <clears throat> I'm going to back out of this screen. There's another app, and I choose the desktop. I choose to use the desktop app, which is the remote. It's basically, without going into a whole lot of detail, it's a remote access to that Mac Mini. So everything that's on the Mac Mini is now on here. It's a virtual network, a uh, virtual connection. I uh, go in here, the DAW that I use, if you want to record a show, the DAW that I use is Reaper. Uh, it's, it's very versatile, love it. And you can configure all of the tracks, again, right from the iPad. At a show, you can configure it right from the iPad to record, uh, to record the entire show if you want, all separate tracks. It's fantastic. I'm backing out of this, now I'm going to click on the SL remote. Now you see our Studio Live is showing up here, so I'm going to click that area, click Connect, and now you can see that we are connected with the Personas, with the 1602. I'm going to back this out now, so that you can see, there we go, now you can see that everything on here and on here uh, is related. Just to let you let you see, whoops, I'll go locate, so that you can see that all the fader functions are now being controlled by the SL Remote app. Using the iPad control to control the 1602 via this Mac Mini, and that's all it's using.